Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Stephanie and this is day 3 of 31 days of December. And if you're new here to my channel, I am recording every single day of December and putting up a new video up because I have no life. Yay! Anyways, uh, this is a segment I'm going to call Saturdays with Steph. And um, every Saturday we're going to get together and we're going to play with an old palette. You can choose it. Um, my friend Kat chose this one and by friends I mean I only have a couple and Kat is one of my main friends that is a makeup enthusiast like me and she always says hey do you look with this palette so I fulfilled her request today she wanted something red and smoky and this is what I came up with um, I'm really glad that this is a permanent palette so you do not have to rush out and get this you can grab this at any time you like but it has been sold out for a while so I'm very sorry with that um, I'm gonna stop rambling if you can please like subscribe and share this video that would be super helpful for me and I will see you guys tomorrow Let's get on with this. So I have already done my base and my foundation. It's the same as it was in yesterday's video. I didn't feel like changing it because, again, my skin is still super blotchy and super irritated, which, again, I feel like I shouldn't be caking on makeup, but that's okay. We'll deal. We will deal. I'm going in with... What? The Anastasia Renaissance Palette. Modern Renaissance Palette. Beautiful palette. I love love this palette so this is by request by my friend Kat and she wants me to use some of these reds in here so I think I'm going to do like a red smoky eye but I'm first going to go in with raw sienna and burnt orange and you guessed it we're going to go in with my Zoeva 228 crease brush start in the outer corner And I'll work our way in and do windshield wiper motions. If you can't tell, I gravitate more towards warm looks than I do cool ones. It's just easier for me. Do you ever have an eye that works better for you? For me, it's this eye. I think because I'm right handed and it's easier, my left eye always looks super wonky. If you guys literally knew how long I sat here and blended my eyeshadow. I should get paid to blend. I said that once when I was sleeping. You'll, you'll hear my dogs. I'm going to apologize for all the background noise that you're going to hear. It's all my dogs. They think they're big and bad, but they're really not. And they're mad at me story time. So, because my husband and I left yesterday, we thought we could leave our dogs out. That was a mistake. They opened up my trash can. Trash was everywhere. They ate so much stuff out of the trash. I think my oldest dog, Ranger, ate an aluminum can and he did not throw up, so he has an iron stomach. But they have proven that they can't be left out alone, so therefore they're stuck in their cage and they are mad at me right now, but that's okay. I'm going to go in with red ochre, and this is going to go all over my lid. And I'm just taking a large shader brush. Any shader brush would do. Mine's from uh, Bellamy, but I don't think they make these anymore. Because I already have my foundation on, I'm going to pat this on because I don't want a lot of fallout. And once I have majority of the product on there, then I'm going to sweep it back and forth. And then I'm just going in and blending in those harsh lines because... Sorry, my husband called again. I didn't film this, but I just went in with um, tempera, and I put it on my brow bone, and just blended it all out. Literally, this look is literally all blown out blendy. Blendy blown out. I'm going to take some Cypress Umber, which is this dark chocolatey shade right here, 
and I'm just taking this on a Morphe S12 brush. Literally, this is really pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And just put this in your outer V. Since I won't be doing a wing today, shocking, I just want a little depth here. And going in with a pencil brush and going back in with a burnt orange and raw sienna, I'm going to run this in my lower lash line. And just taking a little bit of that cypress umber shade on that same pencil brush and gently put it just in your outer corner. Just going in with like a really small flat shader brush like this, I'm going to go in with the mirror, which is this one, and this is going to be my inner corner highlight. You can actually go back in with tempera, tempera, I want to say tempura, but it's not, tempera, and um, you can have an all matte look if you want to, but got to have just a little bit of shimmer. And I'm going to skip this part for you guys. I'm just going in with my gel liner, and I'm going to tight line because I can't live without it. It looks really funky to me if I don't have it, so... I'm going to do that really fast. Alright, I am not going to do a wing, but I'm going to take this and I'm just going to tight line the upper part of my lid because we are going to be wearing falsies today because I think it's going to give it more of a nice like ba ba boom look, but i got to hide the band, so I'm just going to run my little liner across my eye. I'm blind out of this eye. Just so y'all know. Alright, messed up. But that's okay. I'm gonna coat my lashes in some mascara. This is just a L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Nice quick coat before we put our falsies on. And by all means, do not feel the need to put on false lashes if you don't want to. Pile on mascara, you do you. Um, I just have them and I'm trying to get better at it, so why not? Today I'm going to go in with the House of Lashes Tinkerbell Lashes, and what styler is this? Does not have style. And then just coat some mascara on your lower lash line. Now we're going to contour the face. I feel like if you have very like dark, voluminous, like, va-va-voom eyes, you should have a nice, like, chiseled face to go with it. But again, it's all preference, you do you. I'm going to take this um, Tarte brush. It was from the Nicole Concilio collection. And I'm going in with my uh, Cocoa Contour Powder. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is the Dark Cocoa to Bronze. And then I will go back in with the Medium one to contour. And the good thing is, your face is going to smell like chocolate. And going in with that medium contour shade, I'm just going to contour my nose. Because who doesn't want a snatched nose? Going in with my duo fiber brush in that medium contour shade, I'm just going to hollow out my cheekbones just a little bit, but just staying at the base.
For blush, I'm going to go in with, sorry, I'm going to blind y'all for a minute. This is Amaretto. And then I'm going to go in with Prosecco Pop as my highlighter. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go both in with Prosecco and Champagne Pop. And I want to glow from the gods. And you can easily pair this with a nude lip. Obviously, you have dramatic eyes if you want to go more nude. Or if you want to go dr full dramatic, you can go a nice vampy lip. You do you. Literally, makeup's all about personal preference. For me today, I think I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Lip Gloss in Black Cherry. That, my loves, completes this um, look for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will.